Seven something in the morning, probably about 30 something degrees out here. It's cold as hell, but just got done a call and uh, just wanted to kind of go over a few things with you guys. Like, I know a couple people have been asking how I uh, got started with this company and what I've went through to get here and everything. And today we're going to sit down and talk about that. So, strap up, sit down, enjoy yourself, be prepared for a little talking. And then I'll throw some uh, telling or some repos. Depends what we get into today at the end of it. So it's not such a boring video, but the first half of this video will be me just kind of going over how I uh, started everything and got to where I am and all of that good stuff. So stay tuned. Let's go. My best friend Tommy also then used to pick me up every once in a while and uh, we always go riding around while he's in his tow truck because he used to work for his father when his father had the towing company. When he picked me up, you know, we'll smoke a blunt, ride around, and on uh, toes that the customer wasn't there and they just left the keys or something or they didn't leave the keys, they just wanted the car to get towed. We used to always pull up there real fast and uh, try to uh, act like we was repossessing the cars. It was just always fun. We always had a dream of starting a repossession company. And then... 2011 came one day we got off work and while we were on the way home from work uh, I stopped by my mother's because we were staying together at that time but I stopped by my mother's and I just told him to come back and get me while he went and got ready and everything and on his way back he uh, ended up getting in a car accident and uh, snapped his neck instantly and after Tommy died I started using Percocets at his funeral, literally across the parking lot at the bank, I sniffed my first Percocet inside the truck. And I don't know, like, I went through my son dying. And then a couple years later, Tommy died. And I've known him for so long. And, and it just really hit me then. And I really went down the wrong path. Like, ended up losing my jobs because I didn't want to show up for work because I was withdrawing in the morning. And then I couldn't find any pills. So that led to me getting on heroin. And then that led to me shooting up because sniffing it wasn't doing it anymore. And then from there, it got to the point I didn't have no more money. I couldn't borrow no more money. So I started boosting. I started stealing from Walmart, doing dumb stuff, like stuff I would never do. It just had me in a whole different element. Like my whole mind frame was just blown and ended up going to prison for stealing from Walmart. I got 10 years, all suspended but four, and I came home July 2016. I relapsed after a few months. I got high for probably almost a year, and then I woke up. It was Halloween in 2017. I woke up that day. I just said, I'm done. Like, I can't do it anymore. Like, I'm just done. And from that day on, I've been clean. I have over three years now. And a few months later after that is when I actually applied to LegalZoom to actually get my LLC for the repossession and towing company in honor of Tommy, but for my family. And once I got my license, I went and got my insurance and then busted my ass to get a truck. Couldn't afford no finance, so I busted my ass paid cash money for the truck. Me and my wife went in on it. We went in on the company 50-50. Having a female is a minority tax credit. Think about that, fellas. Having her on 50-50 with the motor clubs and everything 
has led me to easily get approved for the motor clubs just came a long ways i got my wife to thank for a lot of things she has been there she's been my rock and she's just been awesome she's been awesome and on top of that i love seeing the kids happy i love being able to provide for them to get things that i've never been able to afford to be able to get things i was never able to get when i was a kid i kind of lived through them and doing all the fun things with them and buying them toys which secretly lets me be able to get toys too but i love it man i'm happy in life i'm married i have a beautiful family and I couldn't ask for nothing more. This year, 2021, we're gonna be building our shop. We're gonna be building our house. If not buying a house or building a house, don't know yet. Getting a few tow trucks, and I said a few, not just one, not just two. I'm hoping three tow trucks by the end of this year and get some employees, get some receptionists, get some people in the office. Yeah, guys, it's gonna be a big year. So please share this channel, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do because this channel right here is gonna blow up you guys are gonna be the first ones here I'm gonna do something for all the first couple hundred people that had subscribed first I swear I'm gonna do a giveaway just for y'all and it's gonna be more than just one two three four people gonna win it's gonna be a few people I don't know quite the details yet but I promise you it's gonna be something explosive Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this, comment what you want to see next. Love y'all, man. Lately, I've been noticing in my surroundings. What was you when I was down and I was drowning? I hit you up and you picked up, but you were stalling. But when you called me, I was there for you, be honest. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jack TV. This is your boy, Joey Badass. We are on our way up here. We're five minutes away from Murloc right now. We got a 07 Mercury Mountaineer we're towing to Oxford. It's uh, the destination of pickup is uh, 30 miles from the shop and the destination from the pickup location is 30 miles. Nice little uh, trip, paying a total of uh, 137. I'm gonna add a $35 deadhead on it too because of the mileage. Not a little bad to start off here. Glad you guys are enjoying everything. I'm gonna try to make these videos longer, try to make them better, get more footage and everything. I'm waiting for my gimbal to come in here for this camera because it gets heavy as a bitch trying to hold this and do everything for the business. Plus I got a new lens coming that's gonna show more wider of a footage. That's why I've been kind of like standoffish with this camera because it's so close in because it is a crop camera, so sucks about that, but we're getting close up here. Let's get up here, let's get it hooked up and uh, get it going to its destination. Yeah, I was gonna hook it up from the rear, so Whatever it's great. Need to do. Uh, it's just the uh, the wheel bearing on this side is broken. Uh, I don't have no brakes, and it has just a small pull at me, but it shouldn't be broken. Okay. Uh, yeah. But if you want me to move it out, I can turn yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Right out there to Oxford, right? Yeah, you know where that is. Okay. Let me make sure I got the right address. Yeah. The one Oxford? Yeah, it uh, should be uh, four. Is it a shop or a house? Yeah, it's, it's a shop. Be a shop. So What's you the pass the firehouse, quality automotive. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yep. Doing yep. There you go, man. You buy yourself some lunch. You good, man. No, man, I, I used to tow too, so. Did you? Yeah. Who did you tow for? for uh, Jeff Thank Grant you. over in Easton. Oh, okay, Grant. Yeah. Yeah, I got a guy that's trying to come over here to me for him. Oh, from Jeff? Yeah. yeah he got a little nice in Jeff. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. 
the key still in it? Yeah, it's, it's all awesome. Gotcha. Yeah, I got a $25 tip, man. Like that, uh, Let's see. Yeah, that Appreciate that one. That was awesome, man. When it comes to people like that, man, that that's fucking awesome. That doesn't get no better at all. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this yet, but something with the wheel bearing or something is messed up on this thing. I don't like the way it's sounding. But it's this tire right here. I mean, this is what we're working with. But it's that tire, man. That shit's making a crazy fucking noise, bro. fucking know but it's making a weird ass fucking noise and it was supposed to be railroad drive ended up being all wheel drive we're gonna go ahead and get this one down to oxford maryland it's about 30 miles away so uh if you guys are enjoying this content please smash that like button subscribe share this and please leave a comment what you guys want to see next and i promise i'm gonna keep pumping them out to you guys Let's go. I can't miss. Diamonds on my neck and on my wrist. Now they tryna get me out of mix. That's why me and Bo, we don't mix. Told a friend, Shawty, why you such a snitch? Yeah, I might do the dance, sell it quick. Shawty brand new, just like the kicks. And they miss a color to whip. Pockets fat and my Shawty looking dead. My credit has up right now. Is that a 645? Once all my credit cards get updated, the uh, two new ones that I just got get put on there, along with the payments I've been making, get updated. I should be getting close to a 700. You guys are about to witness me buy my second tow truck to come shortly, so stay tuned, guys. Within these next 30 days, I'm going to go look for a new tow truck. I'm going to get a flatbed. We're going to extend the company. We're going to get a driver. We're gonna be able to accept up to three times the amount of calls at that point. All right, guys, we're at the place here. We're dropping in, and we're gonna go ahead and just drive it right on in this lot for him. So let's get this done, and then we'll get back up to the shop. And uh, this dog is so big. This <laughs> seat is so far back. Look at this shit, bro. Back to the shop and uh, get some lunch. Let's go. To love you. Tomorrow may get lost, but I'll be there with you. The universe on pause. As long as I'm with you.